Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another edition of UIWA Wrestling Recap featuring yours truly, your friendly neighborhood reporter supreme, Axel Grease. Thank you for joining us on the show today. Got lots to get to, including name change of one of our affiliates. Tucson Championship Wrestling is now known as Southwest Wrestling Federation. Make sure you check out UIWA Facebook page for details. Also, check out our website, UIWA.net, the events and results section of all the great action you may or may not have missed from our affiliates over the past weeks. Also, ladies and gentlemen, UIWA.net is home to the biggest thing in UIWA history. It's live, multicolor. Heck, we even went technicolor on this. Wait a minute. I'm getting text. I'm getting text. I'm getting text. Sam Moon, president. It's live, but not really, on I pay per view. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. We make our debut in I pay per view November 17th. Be the finals of the UIWA Tag Team Tournament to crown the first ever UIWA Tag Team Championship. How you view this pay per view is as follows go to UIWA.net. Register for a My UIWA account, which is completely free of charge. Wait a minute, I'm getting another text. I'm getting another text. From Sam Moon. Axel Grease, you have to pay for a UIWA account. Everyone else is free. So apparently, I have to be double charged. You guys will only have a single charge of $5. Yes, $5 gets you to view the pay-per-view UIWA Tag Team Champions. The Fed that is hosting said event is TIWF in Trenton, Tennessee. Let's take you now to the great action you will see at TIWF on November 17th. Here we go. We're right here, Hot Rod. I tell you, we're right here with Drew McGruder and, and, and Tommy Angel. And, and ho, here we go, and Jerry Fargo. We got this big, starting out with Dillard's Choice, starting off with this tag team championship match. Hot Rod, I'll tell you what, right away you notice no referee in the ring. That's what I was looking for. That's right. But the referee is outside of the ring right now, and uh, we do have Tommy Angel with us tonight and also Jerry. Well, pretty much everything goes, so the only thing the referee has to do is make sure to see who scatters up there and gets that belt. And whoever can make it to that belt will get the title. And I tell you what, these guys have been fighting for over a month, week in and week out. And Tom. Jay Rays and Skyler. Well, I tell you what, right now you got, oh, look out. Oh, my goodness. They're both down. I tell you what, you look at this teams, they've gone best of five series match. Whoa, right hand. I tell you, this is what TIWF is all about. This is TIWF wrestling. I don't care where else you go. The outside, best wrestling in West Tennessee is right here in TIWF. That's going outside the ring. And we've got action outside the ring right now as Quick Silver goes up against Skylar Devins, and now he's got that kendo stick. Look out. And look out. Here is John Arlen. Oh, my goodness. Right uh, here in front of and me. And right in your lap, Hot Rod, just about. Man, oh, man. And I tell you what, Tommy, you know for a fact just how vicious John Arlen can be as right now he's got J-Rage up on the ramp. Jared with a kick. And oh, oh, look out, Russian leg sweep with Whoa. that kendo stick. That was a beautiful move. Come on, Skylar, get up. And Skylar Devins right now is in a world of pain. And Jerry, you know, you know right now, you can go anywhere else, but you won't find better wrestling right here in TIWF in Trent. You were in Murray City last night. Man, I tell you what, we had a blast last night, didn't we? We had a great time over there. It's going to be a great show tonight. These guys are great athletes. Some of the best wrestlers in the business right here. There we, there we go. I saw that. And John Arlen right now. 
I bet he knows how that cabinet feels. I'm sure he does as he's looking up at the lights there, Tommy. And up Quick to the turnbuckle. Going up high. Here Quick goes silver. Quick Silver. Oh, oh but he misses. And uh -oh, right he's starting to get a ladder. Look out. Like he's going Here it comes. In play. The ladder is about to be put in play. Look like John Allen is about to get a taste of it. Oh, man. Uh -huh. Wow. John Arlen went down hard, and John Arlen is the enforcer of the group. And now Quicksilver's in there, and he's in a bad spot, Hot Rod. You're right. Now Jay Rage is working on Quicksilver. Oh, yeah. Put it I on him, baby. Job. Put it on him. Well, the strategy of it is to, is to wear them down, is to wear your opponent down, where you can get that ladder. And when you get that ladder, that's another component because somebody might knock you down with a, oh, what a kick. Well, Hot Rod, I think these two tag teams have realized this is their last chance to inflict punishment on each other. Right now, I don't think nobody's thinking about getting a belt. They're just thinking about getting payback right now. You're right. After five match series, I tell you. Whoa. Yeah. John Arlen just got knocked out with that candlestick. You know, I don't necessarily like John Arlen's attitude, but I tell you what, probably the, the hottest one in there right now, the I one believe, who's on fire, I, is I John believe, Arlen. I believe Jay Rage come to kick butt and chew gum. Oh, yeah. I don't believe he brought any gum. You're right about that. Well, I don't know. It looks like Quicksilver's giving him a little dose of bubble yum over there as he's choking Jay Rage. Skylar Devins working on John Arlen, and now here goes Quicksilver. Quicksilver down to a, quick to silver down to a choke hold there. Anything is legal right now. Now look at Skylar Devins. This guy is built like a fire plug. He's got a lot of power behind those punches. Second generation wrestler as well. You look at new generation thrillers, they're both second generation wrestlers. And now look out, Quicksilver. With the assist, look out though. J Rage fixing to go up. This is going to be party. What are they going to do? Oh my goodness! Oh man! And J Rage is perched, but he came down. And now J Rage going right after John Arlen, going to set him up. And we got another new team here tonight, White Wolf. Oh, look uh, out. I want to see something about them. He's going up to the top. He's going up high. Do it to him, baby. Frog smash. But pins don't count. And now J Rage has got to try to get to those titles. He's got a perfect oh, he's opportunity got a, right now. He's got a smirk on his face. Look at him. And you know what that means. It's time. It's time. Going in. Ladder time. Going in and going up. And now it's just gotten interesting. You're right. You've heard of hammer time. This is ladder time. Oh, look out. I don't think that ladder's supposed to be used like that. Oh, it can be used any way you need to. I believe that's, that's going to leave what a the mark. Instructions say on the side. He don't have a bruise coming tomorrow. And now, and they're weakening the solution right now. I believe he's going oh. up. All right, Jerry, just set up the ladder. Now, this could be very dangerous right now. You're pretty vulnerable up that high, Hot Rod. You're right. Oh, look at this. Look at John Allen choking him over there. John Arlen telling Quicksilver, go ahead, climb that ladder now. Saved. The crowd is behind uh, Skyler and J-Rage. Now Skyler Devins trying to climb up. Drop kick and Quicksilver. I didn't think Quicksilver get up that high. Man, oh man. There's not going to be a quick show to this. These no, no it's not. These guys don't get paid by the hour. You're going to have to pay your dues to get to the top of that ladder. And look out, John Arlen. Oh, no. No, no, Jay. Wait a minute. 
Wow! You see what I mean? I'd ride your awful vulnerable up that high on up that ladder. Man, oh man. You gotta pay the price, brother. You gotta pay the price. And J Rage throws that ladder out. I guess he decides that they're gonna need some more work. Needs some more punishment. Drop kick. Right in the mouth. That was a textbook drop kick. You're right about that. I tell you. Like one of yours, Tommy. You got a pretty good one. Uh oh, here they come, right out on the floor again. All right, now John Arlen. Ooh. Ooh. Right in the ladder, chest. right in the gut. Caught him coming down, too. And I think J Ray still feel the effect of that drop kick. And we got a good shot of Quicksilver just pummeling Skylar Devins. And a big shot from J Rage on the jaw of John Arlen. Quicksilver trying to go up on that ladder right now. We've got nine minutes in this match already. John Arlen out on the ring apron. Oh! What a move to the head. And knocked him in the head. J Rage, get on up there. Now this is it. Skylar Devins is going to try to distract everybody. Jay Rage is going up. And oh, look out. Hang was loose neck breaker. Almost like a goalie special. Takes him down. And that takes care of Jay Rage, who's incapacitated for a few minutes. I'm going to tell you from personal experience, that would take a lot of fire out of you right there. I'm sure it does. That hangman's noose is bad news. I'm sure it is. The hangman's noose took its effect on J-Rage. And now John Arlen. Oh, look out. J-Rage getting a second win. And... Oh, look out. John Arlen. He's going to slam him down. No. Nope. He, he tried to take him down. He got to get a pin, but you can't pin him. And now John Arlen and Quicksilver no, are the, the closest to the ladder. The pin don't win, brother. The pin don't win. That's right. And the new generation thrillers have got to get up because right now the only ones on their feet are the solution. Body that, slam. That was a beautiful body slam. And now Quicksilver about to go up top. Whoa. Big elbow drop right on Skylar Devins. And uh, for some reason, you know, if you notice. And John Arlen had J Rage pinned in the corner, but now J Rage able to fight his way out. Did you notice John Arlen was holding J Rage back? I did. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh oh. Wait, wait, wait. Look out. Wow. That and sweat in the ring can be a bad thing. He slipped on that rug, on that oh mat yeah. and fell down. And wait a minute. I, you know, I was sitting there watching. What what was JP doing over there with Skylar? 12 minutes into this match, and you're right, Jerry. A little conversation going on. Yeah. You've got a plan formulated now by the solution and J-Rage going oh. back after that Kendall stick. Uh oh and John Arlen's got it. Skylar Devin and Quicksilver are out in the ring. And John Arlen's the only one standing right now as he is guiding J-Rage around the ring. Oh, oh no, no, look out. Wow. Oh, and slapped his head with that, slapped him on the back of the head with that kendo stick, which caused his head to hit that ring post. 
but, but don't count Jay Ray. Tyler's going up. one of the finest athletes in here. Swan time, oh. but nobody's home. And now the new generation thrillers, both of them right now, are having a hard way to go. Spear! Spear! Did you see that hot rod? Man, almost cut him in half. I seen that. That was devastating. That just goes to show they are pulling out all stops, leaving nothing behind tonight. Close line. Well, you can let and it be. hot rod, we're coming up on 15 minutes. Man, oh, man. Uh-oh. Beautiful reverse kick. Beautiful. Go ahead, Jay Rage, hit him. And now, Jay Rage. All right, here they go. Oh! Yeah, wow. baby. That was a beautiful neck breaker. It was, Tommy. And now you have Jarlin, J John Arlen out on his feet. Quicksilver out right now. And here we go. The new generation thrillers taking control. Spine oh, yeah. buster. Piled up with that big elbow drop from Skylar Devins. Two of the finest young men in the business right there, Skylar Devins and Jay Rage. Been watching them for a long time. Well, they've got a chance to prove they're the best tonight. All they got to do is get that ladder and climb to the top and get those belts. That's it. But, you know, as young as these guys are, the resilience that these guys have, you got to beat them down. You're right, I'd ride the amount of fight in all four of these individuals. They will not give up. Oh, and a sharpshooter, he can't climb if his legs don't work. John Arlen's got him. There you go. And what an escape. Oh! And Skylar Devins on the receiving end of a leg drop on that apron. Man. And Quicksilver's no light individual, I'll tell you that. Oh, look out. Nice leg, Lariat. And I think J-Rage come down on that shoulder. Now, Quicksilver rolling over instinctively onto his stomach. And John Arlen going right after Skylar Devins. Man, oh man. And the carnage in this ring. Wow, we're reaching the 17 minute mark of this match. Wait, what are you doing? Uh, no! He hit him with the camera! He did, and John Arlen goes down, and now Quicksilver. And he gets a little comment. I'd say he probably just needs to pay attention to what he's got. Don't worry about what's sitting over here. Scholar's thinking, lights, camera, action. <laughs> well, here we go. And we finally got another, we got a ladder back into the ring. But I don't think they're going to use it for climbing. I think they're going to use it for punishment. Oh, uh, you heard that. I agree, but I think their home is laying in the ring right now. Well, we're going to see that these four individuals have been fighting for over a month. Oh. Oh. And the oh. referee is out. The referee is down. Oh, oh boss, boss kick. kick! Boss kick! Oh, look out. Quicksilver. Oh, oh, oh. Rocker dropper, look at this. And now the solution are out. And J Rage is looking up at that titles. Oh, look out. He can feel it. 
There we go. Looks like this is going to be it. All he's got to do is make that climb. He's one step away of getting gold. And I'd say he's about seven Can steps. Skyler Devins get up and play interference? Here we go. Nothing stopping him. Well, we the match. There you go, Patty. There you go, Patty. TLWL Tag Team Champions, the new generation thriller. November 17th. Live, but not really, on iPay-Per-View. Ladies and gentlemen, we also have a new North American heavyweight champion, Daifala the Butcher Dobashi, now a two-time champion, and he got help from, of all people, Chief Atakula Kula. We'll have more on that in a bit. But now since Dobashi is a two-time champion, he is challenged from out of the woodwork, up, right, left, down, sideways, behind me. Heck, I've even thought about challenging Dobashi for North American title. And wait a minute, no, a text. I'm getting a text. I'm getting a text. Sand Moon, Axel Grease. The only thing you will ever challenge for is the heavyweight championship of fastest time through the buffet line. I'm on the Atkins diet. Prez, watching my weight. Thanks. Like I said, challengers left and right, including former champion T.C. Washington. He has words for Daifula Dobachi. Let's take you now to the pre-recorded message. Hello, UIWA Wrestling World. It's yours truly here, T.C. Washington. I know it's been some time since I've spoken to you guys, but I had to take the time to think what I wanted to do, where I wanted to go. Now we all know the key to wrestling is championship gold. And we all know everybody's, everybody's dream is to be the world heavyweight champion. And mine's the same. But you know what, I'm gonna take some time and take my attention off the world heavyweight championship and focus my attention on a championship I once held and that's the North American heavyweight championship. Now, I know that Daibu Dabashi is the current champion so what that means, Dabashi, is that means that you're on notice. Because I'm coming to be a two-time North American heavyweight champion. Now, Dabashi, does that mean that I might have to come to Portland, Oregon? Does that mean it might happen here in Wisconsin? Does that mean it might happen in Puerto Rico somewhere? Does that mean it might happen in Mississippi? Well, Dabashi, it doesn't matter to me. I'm willing to go anywhere. So, Dabashi, when we step in that ring, like I just said, my attention is clear, and that's on becoming a two-time North American heavyweight champion. So, Dabashi, you can consider yourself being called out. Dabashi, I'll be seeing you real soon. You can definitely count on that. Dabashi, better watch your back, because Tichi Washington's coming for you. Faux shizzle. Ladies and gentlemen, the first team in the... Wait a minute. I'm getting yet another text. I wonder who this could be from. President Samuel Moon. Axel Grease. Stop. Please. Just stop. Love you too, man. Love you too. The first team that is qualified for the UIWA World Tag Team Title Tournament is none other than the sexy gentleman, sexy KC, and the gentleman John Campbell. Best of luck to those two gentlemen November 17th on iPay-Per-View. Mentioned earlier that Daifula Dobachi is the new North American heavyweight champion. Got the belt at Hemstock in a triple threat match against then North American champion Chief Atkins and the UIWA World Heavyweight Champion Chief Atakula Kula. One has to wonder if Chief is keeping his friends close and his enemies closer. We'll have more on this in future recaps. And now, speaking of Chief, the next night in BCW in Portland, Oregon, he put his UIWA World Heavyweight title match on the line in another triple threat match. His opponents this night, Damian Scythe and Buddy Highway. Let's take you now to the match.
What an incredible match, ladies and gentlemen. Many are calling it a potential match of the year candidate in the UIWA. Now, this weekend, Chief has a challenge of a different kind. Due to uh, pending legal action, Sexy KC has been awarded not one, but two title shots against Chief at Akula Kula. They happened this weekend, September 21st, OCW in Kasopolis, Michigan, and the next night, September 22nd, at MCW in Three Rivers, Michigan. The MCW show also features MCW heavyweight champion Mike the Moose Musso putting his title on the line against former WWE superstar Rhino. If you're in the Michigan area, make sure you check out those shows. Will this be Sexy Casey's time to shine, or will Chief Ed Kula Kula put the stuffing out of Sexy KC? Sexy KC is time to put up or shut up. Well, that about does it here at the recap, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, check out the website, UIWA.net. Sign up for the My UIWA profile, because that's the only way you can watch the iPay-Per-View on November 17th. Check out our Facebook page. Check out our Twitter feed. Check out my Twitter feed, Sexy KC. I mean, like, back off, dude. I'm like, uh, you're my bro. You're my bro. I'll, just say, I'll say it on the recap. You're my bro. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget the three things in life you can't live without. Love, peace, and Axel Grease. Catch you next time. Wait a minute, ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting another another text message. Sam Moon, Axel Grease, get in the kitchen and bake me a pie. Pumpkin, I guess.